Hey guys, this is Mike Cruz with Cinefix from Sundance, and I just got to see uh, the movie Relatos Salvajes, or Wild Tale. Hey! The actual translation is Savage Tales. They premiered in Venice, and the programmer, or the head of the festival, went up and said, and we have Wild Tales, and then it just kind of stuck. The film is an Argentinian film directed by Damián Cifron, who has done two other features and a bunch of television in Argentina. It's actually, um, and maybe there's an annotation that's going to correct me because I haven't looked this up, but I'm 99.99999% positive that it is the highest grossing film in Argentina ever. The film is probably one of my favorite films that I've seen here. Uh, it's a little bit different from your traditional narrative. It's not one continuous story. Uh, it's actually a couple of short stories that are related thematically but not narratively. They're completely different characters in different parts of the country, different classes, uh, different situations, but each one of them is thematically related. Basically what he did was take moments in a lot of our lives that we can all relate to have been through or can identify with, like uh, getting a parking ticket or getting road rage or finding out something about your husband or your wife uh, that you weren't expecting at the worst time. In those moments when in, in normal life most of us would take that like anger or emotion, whatever emotion we're feeling and kind of like shut it down in order to fulfill what society needs of us and just pay our parking ticket, the characters in this film let go and just choose their wild side, their savage side, and react physically and outwardly and passionately and sometimes violently. And it leads to situations that are not only really, really intense, but really, really hilarious. Sometimes when authors release an anthology of their short stories instead of a novel and they're all thematically related, uh, it, it felt kind of like that. It was a, kind of this literary experience, but it was still fun and engaging and, and action-packed. The performances were amazing. Every single actor that he had uh, really really delivered. Um, he had a really strong cinematic vision for it. Last week it recently got nominated uh, for an Academy Award. Uh, I actually got to talk to Demian for a little while and he was telling me about how he knew he knew the movie was up for the award and um, and, and he knew that the announcements were coming out and he was on vacation with his family and his phone was on the beach and he refused to look at it because he was so scared and so nervous and like didn't want to get his, his hopes up. And then all of a sudden his phone just starts ringing and ringing and ringing and he was like, we got it. It's really, really worth watching. I think that with the Oscar buzz uh, and everything that's going on around it, there's probably going to be opportunities in the next year, uh, either theatrically or online, to check this movie out. And I really, really recommend it because it's honestly... It's not only one of the best films I've seen here at this festival, it's one of the best films I've seen in a long time. So that's what I think of the film. Make sure to subscribe to Cinefix for more awesome movie content and more of our coverage here from Sundance.